Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Spellers Remote Application Server Tutorial and this is 7th video in this series and in this video I am going to show you how to publish network share folder by using Spellers RAS so basically what we are going to achieve in this video we are going to create one share folder and then we are going to publish that share folder by using RAS application server so uh, whenever the user is going to log into uh, Paller client they are able to see that share folder and they can store their data on that share folder and they can work on that share folder so something like a network share like how we are mapping the folders with the computers and by mm, in this uh, video uh, the same thing we are going to do publish that folder by using Paller's RAS so let's see what we are going to do so this is my demo environment which we have in this video so we have four virtual machine the first virtual machine is win2k 16 dc01 which is my active directory and dns server and my domain name is victorinfosol.com so this is my active directory server you can see active directory and dns server is uh, services are running on this machine if i click to local server you can see server name win2k 16 dc01 so this is my uh, domain controller of the victorinfosol.com and next we have a parallels 01 which is our parallels uh, RAS server remote access server application server so this is the same server which we have installed in our second video so you can see this parallels 01 and if I go here we have a parallels remote application server console on desktop so I'm going to connect so this is my farm name and authentication type I'm going to click on connect so you can see what we have so in last few videos we have added few uh, created one uh, created our site we have created added few re uh, session host server so and this time I'm going to create a publish one folder so if I click on publishing can see we have few application already published which we have published in last videos so this is the infra which we have on parallel so if I go on my slide again we have two um, client machine which is running on Windows 7 so Win7 uh, Win7 CL01 and Win7 CL02 so both are client machine which having uh, join in my domain with temfosol.com and having this parallel client installed so this is my WinCL01 joining my domain and having parallels client and same we have uh, WinCL02 and this is also joining my domain and we have parallels client installed on it so this is what we have so let's connect on parallels client and you can see when I click to parallels client we have four uh, five application published for this user and if I go to CL02 see five application published so these application are published from my palace remote application server you can see here so in this video we are going to publish share folder network share so from publishing I'm going to click on add then we have all the option here so what I'm going to select folder on the file system so publish a network folder via UNC path so UNC path is a basically path which is going to be addressed as a uh, network share path so what we are going to do so first we have to create one share folder and then we need to uh, sh uh, path UNC path of the share folder and then we can use to publish so if I select this and click next we have multiple options like uh, from where you want to publish remote PC so we have not configured remote PC yet so you can publish on VDI also you can publish for session host so we have already added session host in our farm so I'm going to add the RDA session host so click next then we have this farm which we have created select the server to publish application from so and this I'm going to select all site so now it's asking few details so I'm going to type here users data and description need to type something so this you have to type something meaningful to identify what this folder is and what is the purpose of this folder so this folder is for 
users to save their work and then you need to s like uh, how we want to run so we normalize normal window and then you need UNC path so uh, I'm going to create one share folder on my uh, this folder called like uh, server called DC01 which is my active directory server then I'm going to share it so under the C drive I'm going to create one folder so call it like user data and uh, I'm going to open the properties of user data and I'm going to share this folder so click on sharing tab and advanced sharing and share this folder from permission I'm going to allow everyone so you need to make sure when you are allowing the share permission so these users are able to access this folder uh, when you are going to allow the permission and same thing with the network uh, security uh, tab so I'm going to add an NTFS permission so I'm going to give my domain users so I'm going to give my domain users modify access so they can modify read write and modify this folder under this folder so this is good so now we have shared this folder and if I go and check now so if I go to like win2k16 dc01 you are able to see the folder has been created so this is good and also you need to make sure this folder is accessible from your client machine so nothing is going to block between client and server side so I'm going to access and verify so yes I am able to access this folder from my client machine so this is good news and now we are ready to publish this application uh, share folder by using parallel so I'm going to click on my parallel again so click here and then you got the server list and I'm going to select my folder and then you can you need to type details again user data this folder is for users to save their data and I'm going to change icon also so make it something like look like a network share so this is good and click on finish and you need to go, uh, make sure you click on apply so commit these changes so now you have a user folder and all the information so this is how publish on all server inside and available site and this is going to be your publish from where it's published from and you have all the details here application uh, description user data and if you want to change anything like path or anything verify target you have so this is what we have so this is good news so this is published on both the share folder you can see publishing.exe progress is okay and this is looking good and you have also shortcut if you want to do any changes here you can go ahead and do these changes so this is good and now let's verify from client machine and I'm on a client machine and going to just click on refresh so now you can see we got this user folder uh, here and if I click double click on it it's going to sh open that share folder which we have just published so you can see this is published and we got the access from for the network share and let's create one text file hi hi this is just file and we can save it and see and same if I go here from and refresh this from my client machine too and let's verify the data is here so yes you can see this file here and also you can verify the same folder on my domain controller if you go to domain controller physically you can see this file here so this is basically how you can create and publish folder by using a uh, palace remote application server and this is very easy uh, to publish folder by using the uh, palace ras so 
this is all about this video in this video so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query or any question related to this you can always post me in my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye